Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't And this is another unfortunate video I gotta do Um, Just like I covered Swag Def today It wouldn't have been right if I ain't covered this young man on your screen That's Trey Trey from FBG Not to get confused with 63rd That's Future FBG And it's crazy, man You know, it's such a small world I used to live in the manor On 97th and Merrill Or 97th and Marion, excuse me And I used to see him all the time Trey Trey on the uh Jeffrey bus And this is back in 2013, bro You know, when it was still safe for people to ride the bus And he tapped me on my shoulder one day because I was smelling like weed. He's like, yo, I got it for the weed. Well, where you going? And then he ended up telling me he got it for the lean. He said he had it for the lean and the weed. With him being deceased, I feel comfortable enough to speak on that now. And I got his number. We exchanged numbers. He's my friend on the book, bro. Trey Trey. Trey Trey. You know what I'm saying? He's been my friend on the book for a while, even though we ain't had that relationship. But when I was living in the manor, I most definitely did shop with him a few times. Not the lean, because I don't do the lean. Um, and I really couldn't afford the shit. But on the weed, he had it on the weed, gang. He had that purple shit before purple shit was out. You get what I'm saying, bro? He had that shit for a while. And he was one of those people that had a face. And it was kind of clear why Future signed him. Even though he a rapper, I don't think he was signed for rap for being a rapper. You know, um, it wasn't just him, I think, that was signed to Future. It was Zona Man um, as well. They both from Chicago, Trey Trey and Zona Man. And that was, that sh that was Future Chicago. I mean, that was Future's um, window to the Chicago streets. And I believe he was one of those people just like... Um, Jeezy had a lot of people in his circle that were signed to him, but not for music. It's kind of like my my homie got all this clout, I, and I'm signed to him. I got to become a rapper. And I feel like he's one of those dudes who was more in the streets than he was in the music. And unfortunately, he lost his life last night. Um, I've been seeing Square Day post him, delete, and then post him again because he was in a coma fighting for his life. But now he unfortunately lost his life. And... It's just crazy, man. You know, if it ain't the pills, it's the bullets. Some gonna kill you, man. If it ain't these drugs, it's another thing. And I don't want to be that type of person that's preaching all the time in his videos. But it's a certain age where you just got to leave this shit alone. And I'm, who am I to say he wasn't out the streets? It's just he got a face and he's still dipping and dabbing in certain neighborhoods. His brother actually did a video, an interview on Truth Teller speaking on how he got backdoored by his own homies. That's what led him to get out the streets. Treasury was still active enough. I'm not mistaken. He was shot not too long ago before this. Probably was a while ago. And then now, unfortunately, it happened again. And like our people always say, after you get shot that first few times, I only say a few, but like that first time, it's like you rarely survive the next shooting. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. It's fucked up, man. I'm gone.